Have you ever scrolled through your social media feed and wondered why everyone seems to have the same opinion as you? Or why your beliefs are reinforced and supported by the content you see online? Well, an interesting psychological phenomenon called the false consensus effect may be at play here. In today's video, we'll explore the false consensus effect, how it works, how it can be used to manipulate your beliefs, and how we can combat it. Let's get into it. Before we dive right in, what is the false consensus effect? The false consensus effect is a powerful cognitive bias that causes people to overestimate the extent to which others share their beliefs, values, opinions, and attitudes. For example, if you believe that pineapple on pizza is delicious, you might assume that everyone else feels the same way. This is the false consensus effect in action. So, how does the false consensus effect work? One existing theory suggests that it results from our tendency to seek information that confirms and reinforces our beliefs. We feel validated and supported whenever we consume content that aligns with our opinions and beliefs. And if we see enough of this content, we start to assume that our beliefs are the norm. Now, this is where things can get dangerous. The more we consume content that reinforces our beliefs, the more we become even more resistant to information that contradicts said beliefs. And if someone tries to challenge these beliefs, we're more likely to dismiss them as fringe thinkers or outliers. This is where the false consensus effect can be used to manipulate our beliefs. If a news organization or politician only presents information that aligns with their agenda, they can create the illusion that their beliefs are widely held. And if we see enough content that reinforces their beliefs, we may start adopting them ourselves without critically examining the evidence. So, what can we do to combat the false consensus effect? One solution is to actively seek out information that challenges our existing beliefs. By exposing ourselves to diverse perspectives and opinions, we can become more open-minded and less susceptible to manipulation. We can also make a conscious effort to question our assumptions and beliefs and to consider alternative viewpoints. Additionally, by engaging in critical thinking and self-reflection, we can avoid being victims of the false consensus effect. It's also important to recognize that the false consensus effect isn't just limited to social media and online content. It can also occur in our personal lives, especially when we surround ourselves with people who share our beliefs. This is known as the echo chamber effect, where we only hear and see opinions that echo our own. Breaking out of this echo chamber requires that we seek out different perspectives and engage in civil discourse with people whose opinions differ from ours. By listening to and considering differing viewpoints, we can broaden our understanding of complex issues and challenge our assumptions and biases. In today's age of information overload, it's especially easy to fall prey to misinformation in fake news. Hence, it's pertinent that we critically evaluate, fact-check, and verify the sources of information we consume, especially regarding news and politics, to ensure we don't fall prey to the false consensus effect. So, the next time you scroll through your social media feed or consume any form of content, make sure to question what you see and seek out diverse perspectives. Remember, critical thinking and an open mind are essential in navigating today's complex and ever-changing world. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and let us know your thoughts in comments box.